Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the State Palace Theater here in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana, for tonight's main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. And he's up across the ring. Fighting out of West Ham. Let's Lewis. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Opening three minutes of this 10 round fight. Teddy, he's got nothing to lose as the action opens up here. He is the underdog. Every opportunity he could ever want is standing opposite him. Well, he has a little advantage. You know, we always look at the disadvantage of being the underdog. The advantage, he's crossed his T's, dotted his eyes. He knows what he has to do, what he has to overcome. Maybe the favorite, his opponent, maybe he's forgotten some of that. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. Teddy, what do you want to see out of the shorter man in facing Lennox Lewis? Well, if I'm losers, people, I want to see him never get close. If I'm the shorter man, I want to see him right on the chest of Lewis. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Able to cover up that gut. Lewis is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. That is my favorite punch there is. A forceful uppercut by Lennox Lewis. Well targeted right hand by Lewis. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Job, buddy. Ten clicks of the talk. Good fighting, snapping shot by Lewis. Lewis's commitment to being judicious and effective really worked out well there. The punch stats prove it. Right down the middle. Here we go, round two is underway. Double jab by Lewis. To the head he goes with a left hand. Right to the head with that right. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? Halfway through round number two. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Lewis. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut? Look at that. Great work there. Stay on the outside. Well, Painter has his paintbrush, and I suppose a boxing trainer has his mitts. They are the tools 
of his trade. How does he use it? Well, unfortunately today, you have a lot of guys out there that have mitts on, but they know nothing about using them. You have a lot of guys that throw towels over their shoulders in the gym, but they're not teachers. They're not real trainers. You don't have the guys you had in the old days. If a guy knows how to use them, first of all, he keeps them in tight. Doesn't keep them spread out. Where do you ever see a fighter where you're going to be hitting a guy where it's spread way out? So you want to keep it in the parameters that are real. Keep those mitts in close and keep them at the same sort of stages or the same kind of height where the punches should be going. And also you want to throw back at a guy. Yeah, you catch those punches a little bit, but then after he finishes, use your mitts for defensive purposes and punch back at him. Make sure he's moving his head and taking care of defense or respecting defense. And round number three is underway. Solid, accurate shot at hook by Lewis. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Hook off the jab. Get that head moving. Good combination to the head. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Back to the center. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. Nice work. The left hand to the head. Parries that punch intended for the head. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Stay away. Bombs Stay away, away with a hook by Lennox Lewis. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Hey. Lennox Come Lewis on. is quickly Get taking control of this fight early on with one single weapon of choice, and that is the jab. Yeah, the jab and the jab at the right time. He's catching his opponent every time he starts coming in before he can get started. Very open. nice work there. Jab, uppercut. Keep moving, keep moving. Work Do that body. again. Body shot. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Good One shot two. to the head with that right hand. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need we to move it. that body. Yeah. Don't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. You gotta keep your distance, all right? Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do, throw that jab. Lewis is up on Teddy's scorecard, three rounds to zip, but still obviously a lot can happen at this point forward. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Right to the body. Lewis is tagged by another uppercut. Now hugging on the inside. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. 
Took a shot. Now he gives the left. Turn to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Halfway through this round. Lewis's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Well-placed hook to the head. Goes up top with a right hand. Come on, Good kid. job on the two-punch combo by Lewis. Lennox Lewis is doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, <laughs> you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Lennox Lewis's opponent has to find a way to close that gap. He can't just let him control this fight from the outside. And the way he's got to do it is, first of all, Come get on. to the starting gate. He's not getting to the starting gate. You know, his opponent's stepping away from him. Step up into the right position a little bit. Bring your feet forward and then use that jab to come in. And make sure you take steps. Don't lunge. Walk your way in behind that jab. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. What a destructive hook to the head by Lennox Lewis. Now he ties up there. in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Scores big with the hook to the head. Sharp and accurate one-two by Lewis. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Lewis. Looking good. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. I don't want you to slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your range. Jab, jab, right, okay? the start of this round, the halfway point of this fight. Come on, kid. Focus. 
Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. Good fundamental work, landing the one-two there.